Welcome to the vehicle type video. In this video we're going to go over vehicle types, adding new ones or editing existing ones. To get to the vehicle types you go to my office, company resources tab, vehicle types. From here you can add new vehicle types or edit vehicle types. One thing that's important about vehicle types is vehicle types are the overall type of vehicle, not the individual car. Those are actually listed in fleet. So vehicle types will be sedan, SUV, limo, van, bus. If you wanted to list out the actual individual cars, Lincoln Town Car, BMW, you would actually do that in fleet. And that's covered in another video. If you're going to add a new vehicle type, you must give it a code. The code must be unique. You cannot use the same code for multiple vehicle types. I'm going to create a van vehicle type. So I'm going to give it the code of van. Vehicle type title. Now for this, it's up to you. This will display to your customers on online reservation system. So you can label it however many passenger van it is or um, what type of van. For these training purposes, I'm just going to name it van. You have your status, which you can make active or inactive if you're no longer using the vehicle type. Calculate the rates based on hours or passengers. Set your passenger capacity and your luggage capacity. These will show on the online reservation system as well. And you have your color code. Now it's important to note that this is not the color of the vehicle. It is a color code for the actual dispatch screen. So you don't want to really make this black because on the dispatch screen it might block out information that you want. For now I'm just going to leave that blank. And the next thing you want to do here is associate it with the service types that you do use the van on. You can select all of them or select multiple ones. I'm going to go ahead and select all of them for this. Next you have your long vehicle description. So you can type in here and this information will actually show on the online reservation system. I'm going to go ahead and click on add new vehicle type. You'll see that under the vehicle type listing it added that vehicle type here. So as you add your vehicle types you can always go in here and edit these vehicle types, make them inactive, change the vehicle type title. You cannot change the code though once it has been created and used on a reservation. When you're editing a vehicle type you'll notice two more tabs, the rates tab and the images tab. The rates tab is going to hold your per hour, per passenger and distance based rates. Each vehicle type has its own rates. Rates are actually based on vehicle types, whether it's per hour rates, per passenger rates, distance based rates, or fixed rates and zones. Those are all based on vehicle types. Also, your driver payroll is based on vehicle types as well. So when setting up your vehicle types, keep that in mind because you only want to set up the vehicle types that you have different rates for or pay different for for your drivers. We will go over setting up rates per hour, per passenger, distance, fixed rates and zones in separate videos and also the driver payroll for vehicle types as well in the separate video for driver payroll. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the images tab. Now in this tab you can upload pictures, five different pictures, 
and these pictures will actually show on the online reservation system on step two. That concludes the vehicle type video. Thank you.